Near NFTs are a massive play waiting to happen. Guys, today in this video, I'm gonna be covering my favorite collections in the Near NFT ecosystem and why I think they're gonna do very good and my overall NFT thesis and my Near NFT thesis. But we're gonna hop straight into it. So the first collection we're gonna talk about is the Freaky Felines. Now, first of all, as I said in this video, we're talking about Near NFTs. Now, I'm gonna address my overall NFT thesis and Near NFT thesis. Now, we know that the way liquidity flows in crypto is first Bitcoin pumps, then the liquidity flows in the major altcoins. So example would be like Near, then Near pumps, and then the liquidity from Near goes to the ecosystem tokens like Nico, Jump, Ref Finance. So that's how it goes. It goes Bitcoin pumps, liquidity goes to major L1s, liquidity from all the altcoins goes to the ecosystem tokens. And then along with the ecosystem tokens, even further on the risk curve, we have NFTs. Now NFTs have been pretty much dead for the past two years, but within this next year and a half, you're going to see the NFT market absolutely explode across all chains. And it's really simply because the liquidity is back. People are going to be making a ton of money off crypto and they're going to take that money and say, hey, let's play around with this extra couple thousand dollars I have and go buy some NFTs. And on top of that as well, even though a lot of this, you know, liquidity and stuff is going to be driven from people making a lot of money off crypto, it's also going to be driven off the fact that people are desperate more than ever and they just want shit to gamble on, not, you know, gamble on slash speculate on. And NFTs are a great way to speculate. So as people, you know, it's kind of interesting because if you, the way you look at, you know, the direction of where money's going, every day the dollar is getting diluted and the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. And it's kind of interesting because the rich are the richer, they're taking their money, they made a lot of it. You know, they made a lot of money. They're taking that and putting in NFTs because they have so much money. And the people at the bottom are speculating on shit like NFTs because they're trying to get a come up. So that's kind of my overall NFT thesis. And I kind of apply this to every single ecosystem. I believe near NFTs are very underrated though. And, you know, I'm about to go over, um, you know, my five favorite collections. But I just wanted to, you know, give out my overall NFT thesis right there to get started with the video. Now, the first collection is Freaky Feline. So Freaky Felines is a part of the Nico uh, ecosystem. Even though Nico is the biggest meme coin on near the OG meme coin on near and these things were actually released for free back during Halloween. Um, as you can see here, they currently have a floor price of six near and 6.2 average price. Um, for the, uh, freaky felines, these things I think are, this is, I believe the most underrated collection in near. And I'm about to tell you why, because there's a whole ecosystem developed around these freaky felines. Now, first of all, you know, the way I'm going to be judging a lot of these projects is not necessarily based on the art. If you are kind of liking NFTs because of the collector's item, you just want to buy it. You don't care about price and utility, then you do your own thing. But here we're kind of looking at utility and shit. So, and the team, obviously, are they building, etc. Now, here's why I'm super bullish on the freaky felines. So if you have a freaky feline, let's just say you own one of these. First of all, it's a part of the Nico um, <coughs> collective and if you're not familiar with Nico and the team behind it, this is probably the, they have the best team in near by far. Um, they've been constantly producing all bear market. They're constantly shipping product. They're onboarding influencers. They're doing an amazing job pushing for near. And I believe, you know, they're by far the best team in near. Um, so if you're bullish on the team behind Nico and it's the same team behind jump DeFi, then you should be bullish on the freaky feline collection because it's the same team behind this collection. Now, if you own one of these freaky felines, what you can do is you can bring it over to jump DeFi and actually stake your NFT. As you can see, you can stake your freaky felines and get 6.64 lock jump per month and almost a thousand Nico per month as well. If you stake your freaky feline. So there's, you know, you're actually generating rewards and you're generating, generating Nico and jump as well. But at the end of the day, with a lot of these NFT projects, you're really betting on the team and the founders behind it. Extremely solid team behind it. And of course, you can stake in and earn rewards as well. And they're fucking dope too. I mean, I really like these NFTs. I love the Halloween vibe. And I think these are a massive, massive sleep for, sleeper right now. You're going to look back on this video. I can't wait to see it. You know, within the next year and a half, people are going to look at this video and say, holy shit, this kid really pointed it out. Six near floor is a steal for these things. But anyways, we're going to move to the next collection. The next one is the Good Fortune Feline. So this was the OG collection for Nico. Now, I would consider this, you know, a blue chip for the near NFT space. Currently, they have a floor price of 75 near. Definitely, you know, much higher than the Freaky Felines. And once again, these things have lots of 
backing. Now with these good fortune felines, you can actually stake them in the fortune pool if you go to Nico stake v2.nicotoken.xyz. And I also forgot to mention with the if you have a freaky feline and you're staking your freaky feline for jump, you're staking your freaky feline on jump and then you're getting that Nico. With that Nico, you can then take that Nico and stake it in the fucking um you can stake it in the fortune factory and start getting cookie. You can then take your cookie and then stake it in the cookie vault. So there's a whole ecosystem and everything built around it. And if once again, if you're bullish on this ecosystem that Trove Labs has created, then you should probably be bullish on this collection. It's a blue chip. It's been around for a while. This thing has been, you know, the Nico collection has been out for a very long time. And there's also great utility. Once again, you can stake it. You can earn Nico rewards. You can take your Nico rewards and then stake your Nico to get cookie. And then you can stake your cookie to get even more cookie. So I think these two are an absolute banger play especially the freaky felines i can't harp on this enough once again for you guys who have you know honestly just less money 75 near floor might not be you know in your range get yourself a freaky feline it's fucking six near i think it's a banger the next project is actually again a part of the jump DeFi nico you know ecosystem it is classy kangaroos now classy kangaroos have been around for a while 40 near floor price and once again with the classy kings you can do some cool stuff. Look, if you stake your classy kangaroos on Jump DeFi, you get 88 lock jump per month. Guys, the, this is an easy play. Once again, this is another, you know, I would say near kind of OG collection. It's been around for a while now. Great utility. You know, it's a part, once again, backed by the same team as Freaky Felines, Nico Token, Jump DeFi, Good Fortune Felines. You're starting to realize, holy fuck, this team is really... You know, they're building out a lot of shit. And that's what I'm saying. I'm super bullish on the team behind Jump DeFi and Nico and all these NFT collections. Once again, these are another sleeper. You can take them, you can stake them, and then you can earn Jump token. And then you can take your Jump token and stake your Jump token for X-Jump. Easy plays. Now, the next collection is Near Tinkered Union. I'm extremely bullish on these guys. I'm not going to sit here and LARP and act like I know as much about this project and the next project I'm going to talk about compared to the other three I just talked about. But I will say, you know, I was heavily involved with Nier in the ecosystem in 2022 during the, the roughest points of the bear market. But right now, as you can see, as a floor price of 39 um, um, near floor. And if you go here to near Tinker Union, let's see how much what you can get for it. Dun, dun, dun. As you can see for near Tinker Union, if you stake it on Jump DeFi, you're getting 309 gear per month and 1.55 lock jump and gear is also a token on near that has done pretty well i've seen a lot of people talking about it i'm bullish on the team behind this you know i don't really know them too much but as you can see they have a pretty good following and they've been grinding the entire time i remember when i was heavily involved in the year you know i remember the, them being around etc they've been hustling and i'm bullish on the team and i'm bullish on the utility you can come to G jump defi and stake it so i think near tinker union would be considered you know it's a blue chip on um near protocol in their nft ecosystem it's honestly but as you start to realize you're like holy shit jump DeFi, man they're really putting out they're really putting out the sauce with the nft staking and then the last one we got is we have the dead gens from el cafe cartel we know el cafe cartel has released multiple nft projects but i am personally you know i'm bullish on this new nft project they just dropped once again has a floor of 200 near here's the thing it was very exclusive and everything but really, any any of the projects that El Cafe Cartel has put out, whether it's Dead Gens or the other ones they got, let's go to Jump DeFi. As you can as you can see, they've put out a couple ones. Um, let's go down here. You can see El Cafe Cartel Gen One, the Dead Gen El Cafe Cartel Gen Zero. I would say any of these, or you know, the Undead Army, any of these collections right here anything really coming from el cafe cartel is probably going to do well once again if you stake on jump DeFi, you can earn rewards and i'm pretty bullish on the team once again they are a team that has been grinding for a while and with these nft projects you're betting on teams you're betting on teams producing product producing content being active and all that other stuff and i seriously think you know near has one of the most underrated nft ecosystems and I can't wait for all you guys who are watching this video to look back on it or, you know, you find this a year from now and be like, holy shit, you know, I'm dropping some real sauce here, okay? I don't know who the fuck else is talking about Jump DeFi and near NFTs. Literally nobody else. There's probably a couple other people, but yeah. That's all I got for today's video though. You know, once again, this is all my opinion. We're going to see what happens. 
And yeah, that's all I got. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and also go follow me on X, link in the description. I'm activist fuck on X. And yeah, thank you for watching.